this video we're going to look at radius milling of external edges. Now I'd like to start by noting, if you're in control of the design process, chamfers are much more suited to external edges than a radius. One chamfering tool can produce anywhere from a large chamfer right down to a precision deburring operation. However, each radius mill can only produce one size of radius. With that said, we're working with part file 7.10. So if you plan on following along, go ahead and open it now. With your part file open, we're going to produce our radius again with a 2D contouring operation, just like with a chamfer. So select 2D milling and 2D contour. We can select the library, and within the library for this part, select the 3 16 radius mill. With the radius mill selected, we can press select and move on to the geometry tab. Just like with a chamfer, when we're selecting our geometry for a radius operation, we need to select the bottom edge of the radius, and we want to ensure that that arrow is on the outside of the contour. With our geometry selected, let's select OK and produce the toolpath. Anytime you see the toolpath come to a sharp corner, it generally means that the tool was not able to completely get into that corner. So let's run stock simulation on the entire job to see what happened. In these two internal corners, our radius mill was unable to get completely into the corner. When we're working with radius milling, the smallest internal corner we can get into is determined by the bottom diameter on the tool. I hope you find this brief introduction to radius milling a help in your programming.